Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and in this video is a purse sale. We have Dally Wally here. <laughs> so if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. This is Dallas and this is a purse sale video and if you are returning, welcome back. So today we have um, thrifted, we have the clearance sale. Then we have the thrifted purses and then we have a Goodwill blue box purse box. So I have to tell you guys, I really was slacking on searching for purses this last week, you know, with the holidays coming and I'm just so out of it with, um, you know, my resale business and Anywho, I went to Savers yesterday and that's where I get, you know, the best purses and I hit the mother load. So every single purse you're going to see today after the clearance section, I got from Savers. So um, I'm very happy that I was able to find all these purses because I really wasn't sure what I was going to do if I didn't find that many. So thank you. Thank you. Here we are. So if you are interested in purchasing anything that you see in the video, you can email me at another chance resale one at gmail.com. All my information's always down in the description box and I have a sold list that I keep in the comment section. So if you just scroll up this video into the comment section, it'll be the first comment that'll be pinned there, which means it'll be the first comment always no matter what. So please check that list before you email me. <laughs> um, make sure you click the thumbs up for Dallas. Let's see how many thumbs up he can get, right? Yeah. He went to daycare yesterday, so he's a little tired today, which is perfect and which is why I take him. So he, he's um, very energetic, so daycare definitely helps with that, with running around for basically eight hours a day, eight hours for the day, and being around other puppies and other doggies, so it's a lot of fun for him. Okay. Enough of the chit chat, let's get into the clearance section. So we only have a few, and we're gonna start with the Le Sport sack. Oops, that's the back. Here's the front. All right, oh, and the prices that you hear are not including shipping. That is based on your location and the weight of your items. Um, I accept PayPal, payment is due immediate upon receipt of the invoice. Um, what else, I do ship international. And okay, <laughs> so this is really cute. It is a, it could be a crossbody or shoulder strap depending on how you adjust the strap. And you have the um, front pocket here that's zippered. And then you have this pocket here in the back that snaps and it's in fairly good condition. Um, no real, you know, stains, but just keep in mind all these purses are used. There will be wear and marks, and I try to tell you guys and show you guys everything, but if I do happen to miss something, I'm sorry, I do my best. Um, it is a zipper closure, and then inside you have all these great pockets, zippers, and slips. Pretty nice interior, if I say so myself. So this one we are dropping to $25. Where am I gonna put these in case Dallas comes back up? Let's put them right there. Okay, then we have the Herschel. This is the fanny pack or belt bag. It is a very heavy duty um, canvas, I guess you would say. Um, this is the one that was really short and I didn't, I didn't realize. Um, and I think it was a 36 inch, because somebody had cut it. Um, so this one, we're gonna drop even lower. We're gonna just do 15 bucks on this one, but it has the zipper and then your interior. So 15 bucks, um, little belt bag, pretty nice condition. Okay, then we have the Nordstrom. This is genuine leather. It's a snake print and it's kind of textured you can see that um, it is a crossbody. You can probably adjust it to be like a longer shoulder bag, but it has a zipper pocket in the front here. 
with this really cute little dangle. The back is blank. The bottom, everything was in really nice condition. I really couldn't find like any signs of wear. The inside is um, zipper closure. There's your Nordstrom, made in Italy. Okay, really nice. And it's going to be $25. We're dropping to 25. Then we have the Tig and Company. And I wasn't sure if this was part of Tianello, but it is a brown leather. It could be shoulder. It's probably a shoulder bag. It seems a little short to be a crossbody, but it's got almost that bucket bag shape. Again, really nice condition. Um, pebbled brown leather. You have that zipper pocket on the back. Here's your hang tag. Um, it does have adjustable strap. Now on the inside, you have two compartments, one zippers. Okay, and then this pocket here is just a snap and it, there's nothing in that. Okay, so really nice, really nice condition, brown leather bag, dropping it to 35. All right, and then we have the Michael Kors. So it is the white shoulder bag. Um, it's leather. It has the tassel with the gold chain partial handles. It is in very nice condition. Um, I did clean it up really well. There's just a little mark there still. But other than that, she's, she's pretty nice. Um, and then, okay, so we have the flap on the top that opens up into the whole bag. And then we have the main compartment here with the zipper. All right, and you have the key fob down there. Really nice condition. Um, I think, yeah, there was just a pen mark right there. And there was some something right there. But overall beautiful. And we're dropping this one to 55, 55. Put that over here too. Okay, that was the it, that was it for the clearance section. So make sure you're checking the sold list. Um, even after you finish the video, refresh the screen because I'll be updating the sold list as things are selling. So things might sell as you're watching the video, and you may not see it unless you refresh. Okay, so now starting with the thrifted purses. Excuse me if I keep le um, reaching down. I have everything like, you know, scattered around me. <laughs> so first we have this really pretty black leather um, little makeup bag. This is by Pablo Picasso, Pablo Paloma, Paloma Picasso. It's just a little dust spot. All right, really nice. There was a little something right there that I couldn't get off. But there's the front. There's the little hang tag. It seems to be new. It actually, you know what? It's blue. I'm sorry. It's It seems to be like a, a navy blue. Yeah. It's a navy blue. Sorry about that. It has the original paper in it. There's your tag. Even has the leather interior. This would make a great little stocking stuffer, even though, you know what, I'm not even gonna say that because I do not know if if you order anything today, if you will get it by Christmas. So I'm not even, I'm not even gonna go there. So I don't wanna you know get anybody upset if something doesn't come on time. But we're gonna do this for $15. Okay. Then we have, A Ted Baker clutch. I know the colors aren't really wintry right now, but I couldn't resist. It is so cute and it's in really nice condition. These zippers are just, um, they do work, but you, there's no actual like pocket. There's the back and it is a Safiano leather. Okay. 
Look at that color. Oh, so pretty. And then it's got the floral. Actually, it may not be real leather. Let me just look. No. Okay, it's a faux, so there we go. That settles that. There's the pocket, and it even has little credit card slots. So really nice um, clutch, and we're going to do this for $25. Perfect for your phone and a little wallet and a lip gloss and a mirror, and you're, you're good to go. 25 on that then I found this so I don't I've never heard of the brand but it's brand new with tag and like I said I don't know if you'll get it by Christmas but if that doesn't bother you it is super brand new it has the tag it has the tassels still in the in the paper the brand is violet ray it even has this cute little tassel. It's a ginormous tote. It is vegan leather or faux leather. And it has a $78 price tag. So, I mean, it's really, it's just your basic tote. It has the, um, easy baby, there's nobody here. It has the um, pocket on the inside there. See, even this has the plastic on it still. And then the rest is open. Dallas, there's nobody here. It's okay. <laughs> um, snap closure. And it's a nice large size. Okay. New. New, new, new. So this one I'm doing 45. Okay, four or five. Why are you growling? Can you guys hear that? <laughs> Why are you growling, huh? What's the matter? <laughs> anyway, um, next we have, okay. So I, I have heard of this brand before, but I never really pick it up because I haven't really liked any of the styles, but this time they had, Savers had two of them and I bought both of them because they are both super cute. So the first one, this is my favorite purse of this video. And the brand is MC. I love it. I love it. It's so classy. It's faux leather, but it's got that really super embossed croc. Like, look at that. So nice, so nice. Can we pose for the thumbnail? <laughs> okay, so it has braided handles. It's in like new condition. You have a pocket on the back. You have pockets on the sides. The bottom, everything is really nice. Okay. Um, it's a zipper closure. You have these little tassels and then this um, This does have a little bit of wear to it the turn lock But it's not terrible so you open that up and You have your big zipper compartment What is, what is this thing? This looks like you can put something in here and then velcro it Maybe your keys, sunglasses. Um, so there's the MC, there's pen holders, you have the zipper compartment, and then the slip pockets, okay? So this one is super nice. I mean, the edge coat on it is great. So I'm asking 45 on this one, four, five. It's such a pretty beige, like creamy beige. Really nice, classy bag, love it. Okay, then we have the, all right, this one really confused me because it is so well made, but there's no tags. And okay, I'll just show you and then we'll go over it. So it's a backpack and it's like this tapestry material. 
I don't even know if it's real leather. I want to say it is, but I'm not sure because there's no tags. <laughs> so the, the straps you can have as a backpack or you can close, you can zip it and make it like a sling bag. And quality, if the zippers say YKK, that's, um, that's, you know, that's a, a little clue that it's a quality bag. Um, so to open it, well, let me show you the bottom. There's a little couple marks just from like wherever it was stored, but there we go. And then, so you're just gonna un, undo the little, I should say big lobster clasp, and then you have a zipper. You don't have to zip it. And then your inside, I'm pretty sure this is suede. So I'm pretty sure it's a leather bag. But like I said, there's no tag to make me certain. Um, I literally turned this whole bag inside out. So if someone buys it and you find the tag, please let me know. <laughs> so there's just a slip pocket there. And the rest is empty. This is really hard to show you, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> but it's really nice condition i mean it's like new so um i really i really like it and we're gonna do 40 on it four zero really pretty perfect colors for this season okay then we have another backpack you guys know how i feel about vera bradley i like it but i like the solid colors better i think it's just easier to match with and just a little bit more um so where i'm looking for really it's just easier to match with i feel like all those colors on her other patterns are just like too much for me <laughs> so anywho this is a red quilted vera bradley backpack it's in very good condition you have the slip pocket on the back two side pockets um there's the bottom. It's a little dirty on that corner there. Um, pocket on the front here. Then, I don't know, I guess somebody just added this to it, but the, the pull is there. Oh, look. I don't know what that is. A piece of plastic something. <laughs> um, so the inside is really pretty. There's your zipper pocket right there, and you have your slips on that side. So it's coming off as almost like a neon red. It's it's bright red, but it's not neon. Um, and I think the straps might might be might be a little dirty, a little bit, but overall really nice, nice size, and we're going to do. 45 on this one four or five so cute then we have the other mc bag this one's so cool you guys look at that another classic bag it has the um crock but it's not as textured as the other one and it's red and brown right no black i don't think there's any black red and brown and it even has studs and faux cheetah fur the handles are in really nice condition this is all patent leather um pa faux patent leather you have a little bit of braiding on the handles um there's a slip pocket and zipper pocket on the back there's a couple little white marks that i couldn't get off there's a slip pocket on each side. The bottom is really nice. Corners, good, good. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna just lift up this flap here and it's a zipper closure. All right, nice big interior. There's your MC. This is that thing with the Velcro. Alright, nice, nice. 
Really nice size, really nice colors for this season. So nice, you guys. And we're gonna do 45 on this one too. Four, five. Then we have, all right, so I kind of messed up a little bit on this one. So this is a B. Mikowski. I love the color. The handle has this nice reinforced shoulder part. It's a beautiful red leather. You guys know B. Mikowski and their leather. It's gorgeous. I'll tell you where I messed up in a second. The corners have just very slight wear to the piping. Okay. Um, all right, so check it out. Can you guys notice the boo-boo? Because I didn't. <laughs> This zipper pull is missing and somebody just put a key ring. But you have the little turn lock pouch here. And then it is a zipper closure. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's magnetic closure. And you have your um, you know, traditional B. Mikowski interior. It has a middle zipper compartment. There's all your BMAC stuff, zippers, slips. So three sections. Overall, really nice. It's just missing that one. So I'm gonna just do 35, unless this would be probably like a 45 or $50 bag. So $35 for that one. Then we have this little cutie. This is Lucky Brand. I love all the tassels. It is genuine leather. It's so boho cute. It's got all these preparations and studs. Side pockets. The back does have um, a couple little marks. But there's your Lucky Brand. Everything is in really nice condition. There was just those couple marks on the back. And I think that was it. The handle is just a little bent. But then you got your zipper compartment, your zipper closure, I mean. And the inside is in pretty nice condition. Look at that. Okay. Super de duper cute. And we're doing 35 on this one too. Okay. Make sure you guys are checking that sold list that's in the comment section before you email me, please. Dallas fell asleep on the couch over here. <laughs> then we have this really, I actually found a couple fossil pieces and this is the only one that is not real leather. I didn't know they made faux leather items, but this is a super cute tote. Look at that. I love the colors. So it's like a um, canvas, not coated, like a lot of their bags usually are. This is a tote, really cute, really nice condition. There's the bottom. I told you guys, I hit the mother load at Savers. So I'm really, I'm so happy with what I was able to grab. Um, then it's a zipper closure. The handles are really nice. Then you have your interior. Oh, there's a little, there's a little piece of paper down there. But nice, nice. There's the fossil. But I checked the tag and it is all faux leather. Um, really cute otherwise. There's, I mean, it's a cute bag. It doesn't always have to be real leather, but I know a lot of people do like the real leather, but then I know a lot of people that like the vegan. So there we go. I guess they wanna appeal to everybody, which is great. So we're going to do 40 on this one, four zero. So cute. That, I mean, that you can use in the summer, in the winter. I mean, the colors can really go either way. All right, that was the end of page one. All right, you guys, ee, I paid up for this Kate Spade, but it is really nice. There's just like, I think one or two little corner mark problems on it, but the interior is gorge. Okay, 
here it is. Look at that blue. It's a patent leather handle or strap, I should say. It is a crossbody. You can probably adjust it to make it a shoulder bag. I did condition it with the Dr. Martin Wonder Balsam because it was a little rough on the outside. The back has your pocket. Now the corners have just an itty bitty little spot. That one I don't think has any. Um, th this zipper can be unzippered to make the bag a little bit bigger, look. And then um, the inside is a zipper closure and the inside is so clean, you guys. There's your Kate Spade with the zipper. I mean, look at that. So clean. This is such a pretty bag. So pretty. Should we make this the thumbnail? Okay, so we're gonna do 60 on this one, six zero. It's, the color is just out of this world. Then we have, which way is the front? Let's see, it's this way. This is Anne Klein and it is genuine leather. So it's leather and suede, it's all real. It's brown, it's a pretty, it's a pretty large bag. It's got the leather handles. I did condition this one as well and I wiped down the suede. Um, it has a little slip here. Of course the suede is gonna look a little weird on camera, it always does. Suede is like the hardest thing to photograph. There's a little boo-boo on the corner there. This side is pretty good. But there's the back, or you can carry that as the front. And then the inside has this like flap snap closure and you have three compartments. So the zipper in the middle, then there's your Anne Klein lion. The interior is really nice. And then this side you have your slips. Really nice bag for the fall and the winter. And we're going to do 45. So let me I'll, let me know what you guys are thinking. Oops, sorry. Let me know what you guys are thinking so far. Is this a really good haul for one store? One store. I got all these bags in one store. Crazy. Then we have another fossil. I'm telling you, I hit not only did I hit the mother load, but I hit the mother load of fossil bags. All right. So this is another fossil. Now this is similar to the one that I I've picked up. I think two times now where it's like that organizer wallet type of bag. Um, it's black leather, excuse me, <laughs> crossbody. You have the key hang tag. Then, um, so let's, I guess, go with the front first. <laughs> you have your pocket in the front here. Then you have, what's next? this zipper closure here um what else we have going on here oh and then your main compartment so the main compartment unzippers all the way around the bag and it opens up super wide wow 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 <laughs> wait oh that's not i thought that was a penny or something it's just a zipper so you have your fossil there and your slip pockets and this side has all your key slips, key card slips, all right? So you can either zip it all the way up to have the zippers on the top, you can have it on one side, the other side, whatever you would like. There's the back. This one is in super excellent condition. So we are going to ask 35 on it. Really, I, I uh, conditioned this one as well. Came out really nice. Um, then we have, okay, I really contemplated keeping this one because I have never seen a coach crossbody like this before. So 
so here's the handle. You can probably adjust it to be a shoulder bag. It has the little shoulder, shoulder helper. <laughs> There's the front. There is a little bit of wear here. So you got the metallic and the suede and the monogram. It says coach there. There's your little front pocket. You have your hang tag. The back. The corners do have a little bit of wear, but nothing serious. And then you zip open the top and you have your Creed and your zipper and nothing on that side. Really nice. There's just a little bit of wear. I don't even know if it's wear or what, but you know how suede is. I just talked about it. It's very hard to get to look normal <laughs> so we have this beautiful coach crossbody i really love it we're gonna do 45 on it all right four five then we have a cole han let me just reach and grab it this one's so nice so here it is it's a little um like satchel bag it is purple and black and brown pebble, pebbled leather. There's your Kohlhan. I paid up a little bit for this one too, but it's so nice. There's your handle. You can probably change this handle out since it has the um, clips. Really nice. So super nice, this one. Zipper closure. There's your Cole Haan on that side. Super clean interior. Okay. Really, really nice condition. You can wear it this way or this way. And we're going to do $50, five zero. This one is like so nice. So, so nice. Okay. Then we have a couple of wallets. So first we have a fossil card holder. This is that uh, coated canvas. It's in very nice condition, except the fossil does have a little bit of wear. All right, these are the kind of wallets I like. Nice and little. I keep my cards and my ID. And if I, this one has the money slot on the top, but the one I have um, there's a slot like this that just opens a little bit bigger and I just fold my money and put it in there. I rarely have cash, but anywho, really nice condition. Love this one. We're going to do 12 bucks. Then continuing with the fossil, we have a little bit bigger of a wallet. This one is in like new condition. I love it. I love the pattern. You have a zipper pocket on the front here. You have a little pouch in the back. It is black and gray, yeah. Zipper pull is gold tone, and then it opens up, and you can have your cards, your ID, your cash, okay? And we're going to do 20 bucks on this one. Then I found this one, and it was so interesting. I love it. So, at first it didn't come with the strap, it was inside, but I'll show you the strap. It is Vince Camuto. It is a studded leather. There's Vince Camuto. It's like a blue and gray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you open up the front flap here and it's a little pocket. The back has a zipper really nice corners and then you open it up and there's your wallet okay there's your money the only thing that was a little weird about it is somebody wrote some information right there and i can't get that off but this strap does come off so if you want to just use it as a wallet 
that's fine, or you can have it as a little crossbody. Okay, and we're going to do 25 on this one. All right, that wraps up this portion of the video. Now let's see what I got from Goodwill Blue Box. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, Goodwill Blue Box not only has jewelry, but they have like 10 or 15 other blue boxes that you can get on Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but they literally sell out in minutes. Actually, did you guys notice, not only did Goodwill Blue Box and Shop Goodwill update their website, but if you go look on like the page where they list all of the blue boxes that you can get, the curated boxes, um, it'll actually tell you how many are available. So at on Fridays when they're ready to release, which is today, if you go and look at six o'clock, if you're not already in the page to you know order, you'll see how many boxes are left. So even if you buy one and then go back out, um, like I bought the purse box and then I went back out and it said that there were three left. And then I was looking at the jewelry and there was 39 left. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys noticed that as well. All right, so this one is supposed to be one. It always says one purse for $19.99 plus shipping, but I've gotten two before and I've gotten three before. Not gonna complain. So this is from Lake Worth, Florida, which is where their headquarters is. Okay, here's the label. So it doesn't say anything because last time on it, it did say one purse, but then it, in someone's handwriting, they wrote a three and circled it. This does not say any of that. So let's see what we got. All right, I think there are three in here. This is cute. Giorgia Milani. I don't know who that is. It's upside down. But this is super cute. I love the snake print on the sides. It's a pink color. It is a crossbody. What does it say? Oh, it is genuine leather. Giorgia Milani, genuine leather, leather made in Italy. It does not look like it, but okay, that's fine. It's in really nice condition. There's just a little dirt right there. Super cute. Oh, I see. Oh no, that's supposed to be like that. It's like um, ripped, but it's supposed to be like that. So, wow, this is cute. You know what? Let's look her up right now. Okay, so what do we say her name was? Georgia, not Georgina, Georgia Milani. Let's just put crossbody and see what comes up. Okay, so we are looking at between 30 and and a hundred dollars based on if it's new or not. Okay. All right. It's not in new condition. It's not, you know, it doesn't have a tag on it, but I will do, let's do 45. It's in pretty good condition, I have to admit. Cool, okay, very cool. Let's see what's next. What are you? Business and Pleasure Co. All right. Made exclusively for FabFitFun. This little cooler bag is not only cute, but versatile. Used for beach days, work lunches, school lunches, picnics, day trips, weekend getaways. Okay. So it's like a little, it's smushed. That's why. There we go. So it's a uh, yellow and white, or like a beige-ish. I would definitely use this as a lunch bag. 
because it's got that type of lining. But it's brand new, so look at that. It does come with the shoulder strap. Okay, that's fine. I can I can dig it. So let's do 20 bucks on this one. And then there is one more. Okay, Goodwill. I see you for $20. Fossil. You guys, this is so cute. So it's red leather. It's got the... Um, cloth on the other side of the strap. It is adjustable. You can probably make it a shoulder bag. So far, it's, um, I said crossbody. It's a crossbody, but you can probably make it a shoulder bag. I mean, it's in really nice condition. You have a little pocket in the front here. The back is blank. Zipper closure. Let's make sure that works. Yeah. It's nice, it's it's nice. There's your fossil with the zipper closure and your zipper, I mean, slip pockets. And it's really nice condition, you guys. I'm impressed. This is really nice. So let's do 45 on this one, four or five. Wow. Okay, that wraps up the video. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments. Um, I always liked to get the Goodwill blue box purse box. Um, it's just that one, one time I only got one purse, but I can't even be mad at that because they only advertise it as being one purse. Um, but it was like a, you know, I could almost barely make my 20 bucks back. Um, so honestly, it was really great this time. Let me know what your thoughts are. Have you guys gotten this box before? Um, I really liked everything I did. I I'm gonna, can't toot my own horn, but toot toot. I think all these bags are great in this video. I hope you guys think so too. And I hope you guys can find one that you can enjoy and love and I can pass it over to you. So um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you and we will see you in the next one.